Hello. Hello. I just bought the best robot vacuum in the world, the Ecovax X1 Omni. Yeah, I know I have the X1 E Omni as well. Yeah, sure, but this one is the best with automatic dock, spinning mops, and 3D mapping. It's the same here. This one has long battery life, auto drain, auto anti feature, and video mode. They are the same. So why yours is called X1 E Omni? Well, because they are technically the same, but this one is so much cheaper. If you run right now, you probably can get your money back. <laughs> Thank you so much. No problem, bro. This is your first look at the new Ecovax X1 Omni and spoiler alert, it's much cheaper than the previous model, making it a best buy. The easy explanation of this new model is that Ecovax just took the great X1 Omni, tweaked just a couple of things and one major thing and made it much cheaper. So stay tuned until the end of the video to know how much cheaper. When Ecovax introduced me to this new e-model, it was hard for me to understand how and why they decided to go for this strategy. Because all the best features are still there, it's got the same automated dock with clear and dirty water that does spin the 5000 pascal that dwell spinning mops, which in my opinion are the best mopping system in the industry. The hot, hair drying, the obstacle avoidance, the auto cleaning and auto empty, the ICA system and so much more. If you want to know more about all this feature, be sure to check my full review on the X1 Omni where I go in full detail. Designed the same from Jack Jensen, but it's missing the matte black color. On one hand, it's very fingerprint magnet, but on the other hand, it looks very cool. Anyway, you get a nice glossy white coating, which looks a little bit less premium, but definitely it stands better against dust and fingerprints. Also, the robot is slightly different. It reminds me more of the Titan Plus, but still with the dual spinning mops on the bottom. The second missing thing is a big one. It's the onboard water reservoir. It's the one that justifies the price difference. The X1 Omni has a 200 ml water tank on board and the E model doesn't have it. It still has the 4 liter clean and 4 liter wastewater tank on the base on the dock. But the main difference for the cleaning experience is that first the spinning mops will be wet only when washing them. A reason why it's a different kind of mop pad that absorbs more water. This means that the washing pads will be more wet at the beginning of each run to clean it and almost dry at the end. This is a necessary bad thing. You have to set it up the time after it goes back to wash the mop and the robot goes of course earlier. The result is that it will go more often than the X1 Omni, so it will take more time to complete the same surface cleaning. I didn't see any particular difference in the mopping result and I think it could be a problem only if the time and the water consumption is your concern because this one takes more time and more water. That's just it. For my testing it doesn't translate in a longer battery life because they have the same 5200mAh battery and the weight loss is compensated by the more frequent going to back to the station, washing them up and wetting them. Being based on the X1 Omni, it shares all the small details that I pointed out in my review that are not perfect. The mops are shorter than the robot width, so it's not able to mop until the very edge of the wall, leaving a few centimeter wide area that is not mopped. Also, the mops don't lift, so it won't be able to vacuum the carpet unless you manually remove the mopping pads and this is not really automatic. Also, it doesn't have an automatic cleaning solution addition. The turning point is here. How much do you value the absence of the water tank on board? If you use the robot while you're away from home, I think you will say zero. It doesn't matter if it takes 15 minutes more while the cleaning experience is the same. If you use it while you are at home and you value the time it takes to finish the cleaning, I will say 100 to 150 dollars. Well, look how much less it costs. 
In my opinion, if you are in the market for the X1 Omni and those differences aren't a problem for you, it's no brainer. Really easy to recommend this product and it definitely is the best bang for buck. If you're not convinced by the trade-offs, just wait for the X2 Omni. It will have many new features and it will come out later this year, probably for the same price of the X1 Omni. So this wraps up for today's video, I really like this X1e Omni and I really can't wait to see what 2023 will bring. And for that be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. And as always I'll see you in the next one. Ciao!